Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Introduction to LibreOffice Impress. In this tutorial, we will learn about LibreOffice Impress, various toolbars, how to create a new presentation, how to save and close a presentation, how to open an existing presentation, how to save as MS PowerPoint presentation and how to export as a PDF document in Impress. What is LibreOffice Impress? LibreOffice Impress is the presentation component of the LibreOffice suite. It is the equivalent of Microsoft PowerPoint in Microsoft Office suite. It is a free and open source software. It can be shared, modified and distributed without any restrictions. LibreOffice Impress can run on any of the following operating systems. Microsoft Windows 8 or higher versions, GNU Linux operating system and Mac OS X. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. By default, the latest Ubuntu Linux OS has LibreOffice Suite pre-installed in it. To install a specific version, refer to the LibreOffice installation series on this website. Now, let us learn how to open LibreOffice Impress. In Ubuntu Linux OS, click on the Show Applications icon located at the bottom left corner. In the search bar, type Impress. From the displayed list, click on the LibreOffice Impress icon. In Windows OS, click on the Start Menu icon located at the bottom left corner. In the search bar, Type Impress. From the displayed list, click on the LibreOffice Impress icon. Select a template dialog box opens up. There are various inbuilt templates displayed here. You can choose any of them. I will select the Alizarin template and click on the Open button at the bottom right corner. This will open an empty presentation in the main impress window. Now, let us learn about the main components of the impress window. The impress window has various toolbars. Title bar, menu bar, standard toolbar, formatting bar, status bar and sidebar. We will learn more about the toolbars as the series progresses. We are now ready to work on our first presentation. Let's begin by adding some content to the slide. Click on the text box that says click to add title. Now type benefit of open source inside it and click anywhere outside the text box. Next, click on the text box that says, click to add text. Here type A1 services inside it and click anywhere outside the text box. So, this is how we add content inside a slide. Now, let us save the presentation for future use. To save the file, click on the save icon in the standard toolbar. A dialog box appears on the screen. It prompts us to enter the name of our file in the name field. I will type the name of the file as sample-impress. On the left side, I will select desktop as the location to save my file. Notice we have a file type drop-down 
at the bottom right corner. Click on this drop down. It shows a list of file types or file extensions in which we can save our file. The default file type in LibreOffice Impress is ODF Presentation. ODP. ODF stands for Open Document Format, which is an open standard. Click on the Save button at the top right corner of the dialog box. We will be redirected back to the Impress window. Observe the change in the title bar now. It has changed to sample-impress.odp. To save, we can also click on the File menu in the menu bar and then click on the Save option. Let's close this presentation by clicking on the Close option in the File menu. Next, we will learn how to open an existing presentation in LibreOffice Impress. Let's open the same presentation sample-impress.odp. Click on the Open File menu on the left of the LibreOffice interface. The File Browser dialog box opens up. Go to the location where the presentation is saved. Now, in the list of file names that appear, choose sample-impress.odp. Then, click on the Open button. The file sample-impress.odp opens in the Impress window. Next, let's learn how to save the Impress presentation as an MS PowerPoint presentation. Click on the File menu in the menu bar and then on the Save as option. Save as dialog box appears on the screen. Click on the File Type drop-down at the bottom right corner. We can see .ppt and .pptx formats as listed here. These file formats can be opened later in the MS PowerPoint application. Select PowerPoint2007-365.pptx file format. Choose the location as Desktop to save the file. Click on the Save button at the top right corner. If we save the file in any other file format, Confirm File Format dialog box opens up. Put a check on Ask when not saving in ODF or default format option. Finally, click on the Use PowerPoint 2007-365 format button. The file is now saved as a .pptx file. Impress can also be exported to PDF format. To do so, click on the Export directly as PDF icon in the standard toolbar. Alternatively, we can do so by clicking on the File menu in the menu bar. Click on the Export as Submenu. Then, click on the Export as PDF option. PDF Options dialog box opens up. In this dialog box, we see various settings to customize the PDF option. Keep the default settings as it is and click on the Export button at the bottom. Choose the location where you wish to save and then click on the Save button. A PDF file will be created in that folder. Let's save this presentation and then close it as demonstrated here. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about LibreOffice Impress, various toolbars, how to create a new presentation, how to save and close a presentation, how to open an existing presentation, how to save as MS PowerPoint presentation, 
and how to export as a PDF document in Impress. As an assignment, open a new presentation in Impress. Type some content in the first slide. Save it under the name practice-impress.odp. Save as an MS PowerPoint presentation. Then close the presentation. Now reopen the presentation you have saved. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The spoken tutorial project will ensure an answer. You will have to register on this website to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This is Arvind and Manish from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.